In this practical, we'll be going over how to download and parse a reference genome. So we've given you, given you a link to a FASTA file which contains the Lambda Phage virus genome. If you download this into your Python directory and open it up, you should see a file that looks something like this. You'll notice the first line starts with a forward error, arrow and then just has a lot of uh, identifying information, including the name of the uh, organism, which is the an Enterobacteria phage lambda. And then following that is just a lot of bases. Uh, there are strings of like 70 bases and just a whole file full of them. And this is the entire genome for this organism. So now I'm gonna download this data set and in, in IPython and process it. So I'm gonna use wget to do this. If you have the file downloaded, you can also just open it locally. But this will get it from the URL. So I'm gonna do exclamation mark wget, no check. Then I'm gonna paste in the URL to the data set. And when I run this, uh, you should see an output something like this, and then it says, uh, the file is saved to lambdavirus.fa. So that exclamation point you used for your command there, that's a special IPython trick, right? That helps, that basically allows you to run something on the command line, but inside an IPython document. Right. Um, if you uh, download the Lambda virus FASTA file and just put it in the directory you're working with in, in Python, you can just skip this step. So now that we've downloaded it, let's write a function to read a genome from a FASTA file. So I'm going to define a new function, read genome, and pass in a file name. And I'm going to sort the genome as a string. So I'll start by just an empty string. Then, then I'm just going to add each line of bases to the string. So to open the file, I run with open file name and then R. This indicates that we're opening the file for reading. If we were writing a file, we would put W there. And then I have to give it a name, so I'm going to call uh, the file handle f. And now an easy way to loop through the lines of this file is just to say for line in f. And now it's going to read the file line by line and store each line of the file in the variable line. So the first thing I need to do is if it's the first line of this file which starts with an arrow, we want to ignore that. That just has uh, information that we don't really care about. So I'm going to say if the first character in the line is not the arrow, then it must be a line containing bases. So in this case, I'm going to add it onto our genome string. So I'm going to say genome plus equals line dot r strip. And what r strip does is it removes any trailing white space from the ends of the string. So in this case, it will trim off the new line at the end. If there are spaces, tabs, any other white space, it will also trim those off as well. And then when all this is done, I'm just going to return genome. So let's, let's run this. Let's read the genome. So I'm going to say genome equals read genome. I'm going to pass in the, the name of this file, which if you use wget is written right there. So lambdavirus.fa. And uh, to make sure that we read it correctly, let's print out, let's just print out the first 100 bases of the genome. So you should see an output like this. So um, let's also make sure that we read all of it. So let's look at the length of this genome. So we've, the length of the lambda phage genome is about 48,500 bases long. Okay, cool. Now that we have this stored, um, let's do some analysis of it. Let's count the frequency of each base. So I'm going to do this using a dictionary. I'm going to have a key for each base and a value for the frequency, the number of times that base occurs. So I'll initialize each frequency to zero. Just like that. Now I'm going to loop through each base in the genome. So I'm going to say for base in genome. 
and I'm going to increment the value at that key in our counts dictionary. So I'm going to say counts base plus equals one, just like that. And then when that's done, I'll just print out our counts dictionary. And so here we go. You can see for each base, we have a number indicating uh, how many times that base appeared. Uh, you can see that G and A appear slightly more frequently than T and C, but there's really not a, not a large difference. There's a pretty even split between them. And if you add up these numbers, they should add up to 48,502, which is the length of the genome. We can also do this using a Python module, uh, which would make our life easier. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Import collections. So we're going to use the collections module. And I'm going to run collections dot counter and I'm going to pass into counter a string. In this case I'm just going to pass in the genome string. And counter will do exactly what we just did. It will loop through every character in the string and count the occurrence of each character. So if we do this, the output is a counter object, but inside that object you should see something that looks exactly like our dictionary with each base along with its frequency.